directions for your Apple still life. Remember your name and teacher code on the back. Then you'll decide which direction you would like to have your paper, landscape or portrait. Whatever you decide, make sure that you have space all around your apple so that you're able to add extra details and more easily trace around your apple shape. So here I have about a finger or so on each side. So I know I'm good if I wanted to trace this direction. And then if I wanted to trace the other way, same thing here, I probably have about three or four fingers amount of space on each side this way. So it's entirely up to you which direction your paper is. When you're ready to trace, hold on securely to your Apple stencil and slowly trace around that Apple shape. And when you get to your hand where it's in the way, keep pushing down with your hand that's holding it and reach underneath your hand that's holding it with your pencil to continue tracing the Apple shape. Then using one color choice, paint your entire background of your apple. And then second, we will paint the apple. You can use one color for this. You could do red or green. Make sure that you're painting very, very slowly right next to that pencil line edge that you created. And the reason why that we're doing the apple second instead of first is because if you accidentally painted some of your background color on the inside of your apple shape, you can easily fix that while you're painting your apple. Really take your time and paint in your entire apple. Be super slow when you're next to that pencil line. When your paint is dry, you're going to use a black oil pastel to very carefully outline around your apple. Make sure that you're making nice, bold, dark lines. You don't want your lines to be really light because you can't really see them very well. Really, really take your time on this. And if you need to, you can turn your paper as you go, which makes it easier to reach the space you need to reach. If you notice there'll be crumbs on your paper from the oil pastels, don't brush those off. It's so important, just leave them alone. Because if we accidentally brush our fingers across the oil pastel, we might smear it and we don't want our lines to be smeared. We want them to stay as crisp as possible. So take your time while you're tracing around nice bold lines and turn your paper as you go to help you more easily reach where you are tracing around. Next, we'll add the stem. So just below that curved line for the top of the apple, make another curved line that looks like a smiley face. And then for the stem, you're gonna add another curved line to create the stem. And for the final step, we're gonna add a highlight. So just like this real apple, as you can see, the light shines on it. So it makes a kind of a white shiny spot. So we're gonna take a white oil pastel and we're gonna add our highlights on our apple. Just slightly curved lines kind of near the top. You could do either a pair of them or just little ones here and there just to add the highlights on your apple. Then you're complete. 